Hi YouTube, how are you doing today? Um, so in this video in my Simutran series, I'm going to be showing you how to build a bus a bus rapid transit system. Now in real life, a bus rapid rapid transit system is a non rail transit system operated by uh, buses with uh, air tires. And um, what basically defines it is it's not like a normal bus system that runs on public streets. It is, it has its own private right of way, so it doesn't have to wait at stoplights, usually. Um, it doesn't have to deal with other traffic. It doesn't have to deal with taxis blocking the bus stop or anything. And usually it also means that passengers can get on or off very fast. Passengers usually have to buy a ticket before getting on the bus um, from like a ticket machine that you would see in like a subway. So it's pretty close to a subway and lots of cities um, use it because it is a much cheaper alternative than to building a full-on metro system. Um, and that is the same case in Simutrans Extended. If, um, if you're in the more of the beginning stages of your game, um, you probably won't want to invest a bunch of money to build a full metro system because you can get kind of the same results as far as efficiency and speed and capacity as a metro system with um, this bus rapid transit system I'm going to show you. So um, on the screen, you can see there is an elevated road kind of circling the city center. And here's one end of my elevated bus rapid transit system, Mudwick Lump Street Stop. And it circles around, and you might be able to see these um, little buses moving around. Here's one right here. The line it serves is called Central BRT, and it is a quick and easy way for people to get around. Um, a big part of Simutrans Extended is how realistic it is. It's supposed to be much more realistic than OpenTDD and regular Simutrans, and thus um, there is a problem with traffic. So see right here, you can see this intersection, there are cars just lined up, they're taking a long time to, to get through this intersection. And if I had a bus that was traveling on the city street right here, it would be stuck in this traffic and it would take a long time for it to get through. And I've had that problem quite a bit on this map, which is kind of um, why I'm enjoying it because I've had to like, kind of make alternative methods than to build city, uh, city street buses. So, um, Anyways, in this video, the whole point of it was I was going to show you how to construct it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to build and set up, much easier than setting up a metro system or even a rail, regular rail system. So this city, my capital, already has um, a bus rapid transit system, but I have prepared another city kind of far away in the suburbs out here that is in need of a metro system to help uh, supplement this rail station right here. And as you can see, it's up fairly dense, uh, good enough to um, qualify for building a rapid transit system in. So I'm going to connect this um, city right here with the train station and the downtown area. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into our road tools and we're going to pick elevated road. Now when you have an elevated road, it's a private road owned only by you and it is yours alone to control and determine who gets to travel on it. So if you're playing multiplayer, um, you can allow or disallow your the other companies to use your right of way. So see we're just going to pull it through here. I like to keep it kind of in the center of this island so it can capture um, the passengers on either side. The easiest way to build it is to have it traveling over an existing road because um, some buildings it can go over, like see it can go over these grass fields, but it can't go over these buildings. So some buildings I guess are short enough to allow that to happen. Now let's see, how am I going to approach the station? I guess I'll set it up right here. And I'll kind of just do a little, little deleting of um, stuff around here to make it easy to get through. So we'll delete those buildings. I'll delete that one. 
Now having smooth turns is not as important with building a bus rapid transit system as it is with a rail system because the buses seem to be able to take the turns fairly fast. I guess because they're a small, um, small size. They're not long like a train. Um, but the other problem is they don't seem to accelerate very fast in the early um, stages of the game, especially in the early stages of the game. Even in the late stages, buses are fairly slow to accelerate. So that is one of the um, drawbacks of using buses for the rapid transit system. But the benefits are so many. This is what I would highly recommend using for um, building a rapid transit system. I think that um, the, there's so many more benefits on using the elevated road and bus method over using the regular rail option. Um, the biggest one being with a bus elevated road, elevated structure, you already have two lanes on it. So that means buses can travel um, in either direction automatically. With the rail, you're only building one rail way at a time. And so you have to set up signals, you have to buy more land, you have to build pretty much two structures, so already it's twice as expensive as building a road. So I think the um, even though buses are maybe are maybe a little slower, they have lower capacity. Yeah, I think it's just um, just doesn't matter at all. It's just so much cheaper. So I kind of like I like to build metro systems when it's um, you know because it's kind of cool looking, it's aesthetically pleasing. Um, when you have like a road going through the middle of downtown right here, it's kind of ugly. And in most, uh, in the real world, they probably wouldn't even let me build an elevated road right in the middle of this downtown section, um, right next to City Hall. You know, it's going to put a big shadow over the street. It's going to make it pretty ugly. Um, but in the game, they're not going to stop me, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. My first station. Let me turn on station names so you can see it. Let's see. There. My first station is St. Paul Yarnell Town Hall Stop. Let's see, we're going to put a station right here and a station right here. I think the distance between this one and this one is about one kilometer. I think eight tiles is one kilometer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one kilometer. And that's about, that's a pretty good spacing, I think. Um, I think that just is, that's fine. I'm going to put two stops here next to this department store and next to this arena. So should I put one here or there? Hmm. I think I'll just put one there. Right there. Right there. And here. And now, um, what should I do? How should I get through this downtown section? I guess I will simply just go like this. And then I am also going to put a station there and end with a station right here. Okay, so it looks like it's completed. That was pretty simple. Now the next thing we need to do is build a depot to build our buses at. Um, so if you're playing this in the very early stages of your game, um, the bus depot is going to be a very expensive thing to buy. It costs 17,000 credits, which is quite a bit in the early stages of the game. That'll, that money will mean a lot to you. And so um, you kind of have to decide if you want to connect your um, city, if you want to connect your busway to the ground. So then you can build buses that travel on the busway and also um, on the regular city streets. That What I'm saying is you will only need to build one depot. But since I have um, so much money, um, I can just afford to build one and I can put it up on the structure. So here. Here's the bus screen. Let's pick out the perfect bus for this. Um, I haven't really found which one I like the most. This one's pretty good. If you're, These are buses in Simichan's Extended. Maybe if you're playing a different version, um, you'll have some different options. But this one I like a lot because the loading time is very short. It has a high capacity. Um, but as far as which ones accelerate the fastest, I haven't really determined which one is the best because I think that would be the one, the most optimal vehicle to buy. So um, for the sake of making this uh, quick, I'm just gonna buy this one. We're gonna go to schedule, click, 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 click. 
and go all the way over here. There. And then we press mirror, just mirror schedule, and then promote to line. And there, it's pretty simple. We'll make about, I don't know, nine buses? That's pretty good. We'll go down to our line management. We're going to find the new line. And for one end, we're going to make the buses wait for 10 minutes each. That way they don't um, stack up on each other and they're evenly spaced throughout the route. And we'll also have them wait at the end of the line for the same amount of time. Now, um, I think seven buses is probably what will be good. Now, let's do a quick save. As you can see, I have a ton of games going on here. <laughs> let's watch the buses. Let's watch them go. So here, they're waiting. This bus is about to depart. Let's just follow it through its trip. It already has um, quite a few passengers, 38 out of um, 32 seats. If you're new to Simutrans Extended, um, passengers can stand and sit. So whenever you buy a vehicle, it'll say how many passengers are sitting versus standing. This one has a maximum amount, total passengers in the vehicle of, I think, 107 or two or something. Um, those are the total passengers, and then 32 of those passengers are sitting. And this is important because when it comes to long journeys, if passengers have to stand the whole journey, I don't really know what that maximum time is, but if they have to stand the whole time, they're going to be unhappy and they won't want to use your service. But I think since this is such a short route, that doesn't really matter. And yeah, it doesn't really matter for these passengers. But if they had to travel for maybe, you know, 100 kilometers, yeah, they would not like that and it would be an unpopular uh, bus service. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. All these passengers are going to be able to get to the railway station. I'm going to get a I'm going to get a large boost in passengers using my train service, which uh, my suburban train service, which goes to the city. Here's one of my suburban trains. All right, uh, just let me know if you have any questions about it, about my map or anything else. Check out my other videos if you're interested in Simi Trans Extended. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.